We set a goal, a mega goal. And at times that massive goal seemed pretty unattainable. We thought that we might have set our sights too high. But we did it. We did it. We fulfilled and sent every order that came our way in the holiday season. In time for Christmas. <laughs> Guys, this is the last board of the 2022 holiday season and I'm about to package it up right now. The very last one. This has been such a good holiday season for us. We've learned so much. We broke into another industry. Just so many things to be thankful for. These are all the boards we're gonna take to the UPS store later today and then we'll be done. Now I'm gonna wrap up the last one. And it's a J, it's a J for Jenny or a J for Joy, which is what we have made the theme of this last season of videos, joy and faithfulness. Um, and we are definitely joyous for this season. It was hard to remain faithful, but I think we, we for the most part did, we really did. Um, so yeah, let's package this one up and get it to its new home. Back in August, we set a goal to accept and deliver every holiday order that came our way in the 2022 holiday season. And we are very happy to announce that we completed 255 board orders. In addition to all the regular orders, that's the most number of boards we've ever done at one time before. And that also means we've made the most money we've ever made at one time before. In just over a month, Jenny made $30,000 for the business. So now we have to spend all of that money. Otherwise, we're going to lose about $10,000 of it. So let's get to it. The first thing that we spent money on was this whole miter saw station setup. We got a brand new miter saw, a dust collection hood, and a new fancy table to support the work as it moves from the lumber rack through the rest of our milling processes. You saw our miter saw video, right? Our old saw was getting pretty worn out and there were just a couple of things that were not super safe about our old setup. So we got a new saw, we got a new setup, and that's where a good chunk of the money went. If you want more info on this whole setup and how much it costs and everything, uh, check out that video. The next morning. What are we doing today? So today, unfortunately, we are packing up and leaving. Yeah, we are. This room into the front room. Heck yeah, we are. Yes. We're so excited. Dave has finally let us out of our prison cells and now we can go see the sun more often. <laughs> <laughs> so we're moving our desks out to the front room and we are giving this to Samara so I can use a desktop computer. So big day, big upgrades, big day. We're excited. <laughs> So, yes, to answer your questions, Caleb and I still exist. We're, We're still, still here. here. We have been <laughs> quietly working in our little cave back there, yeah. and we've done such a good job. David has let us move out to the front room to have sunlight. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yes, we're still here. Thank you for your concerns. Okay. And of course, the day we move out for sunlight, the sun is not out. So it's non-existent. Look how gloomy it is. So this is the studio that you know and love that you see all the time on YouTube, but there are no windows out here. See, it's just walls, just white walls. So we have kicked Caitlin and Caleb out to the front room so they can have some silence, some windows, some peace, and some privacy. Alrighty, we just finished. We're out. 
we're out. This is where our deaths were. And stay tuned. That's we have some big plans. We have big room. plans. It's not gonna stay empty. Oh no. We're never gonna allow that to happen. <laughs> and not with an interior designer working here. <laughs> Ta-da! It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. That's where we are now. We're pretty happy with the move. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, we're excited. So yay! <laughs> So when we first hired Caleb, we got him this laptop to edit videos on. And we got this one because we thought he'd be working from home. We were still sort of recovering from the Rona and we ended up not working from home as much as we thought we would. And Jenny needs this laptop for the other business. So that's why we got Caleb a new stationary computer. It will do things a little faster. It gives him bigger screens to see the footage instead of being hunched over at a little laptop. And we got him a snazzy new keyboard so that he can edit faster as well. It's also Caleb's one year anniversary of coming onto the team and we just wanted to celebrate with him by giving him some nice new tools to work with. I used to be a staunch proponent against Apple products. I thought Windows was the best. Um, and then I started doing creative work and collaborating with people, Apple products just operate on a whole different level. There's so many things that are just so much easier to do on Mac products. So reluctantly, I am now an Apple fanboy. but I got here kicking and screaming the whole way. What are you? Do you like PC or do you like Macs? Let me know. But with spending all this money, one area of the business that we've been saving a lot of money this year is with Mint Mobile, who we're partnering with for today's video. And hopefully many more videos because we have four phones that all use Mint Mobile. We have my phone, Jenny's phone, the business phone, and the YouTube phone. We've been Mint Mobile customers for years and we love the service. We've been so happy with it. It's so fast and so reliable. I mean, we go to some pretty off the beaten path places with the hurricane hunters for our other job and we've never been without service or internet with our cell phones. I'll be honest with you, I was a little worried when we first signed up for the service because it seemed a little sketchy, but I cannot tell you how much we love it. We continue to be impressed after two and a half years of having their service. I mean, we trust our business with Mint Mobile. Every sale Jenny makes is over the phone and we have to trust them to run our business and they've never let us down. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for as low as $15 a month. And you don't have to sacrifice any coverage, speed, or data. They're literally built on the nation's largest 5G network. And they keep costs low because they sell directly to you online. They cut out the retail stores and the salespeople. That's how they're able to offer so much for so little. And yes, you can keep your current device and you can keep your current phone number. And it is super easy to switch services. Seriously, like we even implemented some of their customer service strategies into our own business because it was unbelievably easy to get this done. And even if your phone isn't eSIM compatible, Mint Mobile will send you a new SIM card free of charge. All Mint Mobile plans include unlimited nationwide talk and text, plus lightning fast 5G and free mobile hotspot. Mint will show you how much data you use each month and recommend plans that save Save you money. Mint also offers a modern family plan, which allows you to set up a super affordable family plan with as little as two lines. We were spending over $125 per month with our old phone company. And now we're spending a little bit more than that per year for each of us without having to compromise on quality. But here's the best part. As an added savings bonus through January 15th, if you purchase a three month plan, you'll receive an additional three months free using our link below in the description, mintmobile.com slash Jenny and Davis. You can find that link in the description or you can scan our QR code. This offer is available on all plans, including unlimited. Stop paying more than you need to on your wireless bill and switch to Mint Mobile so you can save money. And if you come out here, you'll see that we also spent a ton of money restocking stuff because after the mad holiday rush, we were low on literally all of our supplies. We got a whole bunch of new boxes, black board boxes. I mean, of all sizes, we restocked everything. We got lots of new refinishing tins. We just refilled all these guys for our refinishing kits. We also just got a really big Vistaprint order in. Uh, we refilled a bunch of our board cards that tell people how to take care of their cutting board. We also got lots of new um, charcuterie recipe cards in the mail. 
basically all of our inserts we had to reorder because we were running so low. And as you can see, our paper roll is getting really low. So we have a whole new paper roll over there that we ordered. We also had to buy a whole new pack of our tape that we put over our brown boxes. I have more than just this one roll. There's an entire box down there. We got some new replacement parts for the lasers in case those break down, because obviously those are critical to our operation. We stocked up on a bunch of charcuterie boards and our plan was to stock up on way more cutting boards, but we sold too many and now we have to finish building them so we can replenish the stock. But we bought the lumber for it. And we need to get to work on these cutting boards fast because every board we make is already sold. All these, sold. These last two, sold. We're just waiting for the order to come in through the computer and then we fulfill it with the stock we have here. That's called just-in-time inventory for any of you productivity nerds out there. So we're gonna make this space where Caitlin and Caleb's desks used to be into a collaboration slash hangout type area. As of right now, we don't really have anywhere to sit or hang out that isn't a, a desk or a rolling office chair. So we're just gonna make it a really nice relaxing space uh, so we can have a fun but uh, relaxing work environment. And that should lead to more fun and entertaining content for you guys. We love you and we want you to have the best. So if we just spent the whole year trying to earn all this money, why are we trying to blow it right at the end? Uh, well, in short, taxes. See, businesses only get taxed on profits at the end of the year. So if we don't spend all this money, we're just going to get taxed on it. And all these things we were going to buy in the next couple months anyway. So rather than getting taxed 30% on that money, we figured we'd spend it now so that we can have $10,000 to spend instead of only $7,000 to spend after January 1st. See, money at the end of the year for businesses is like one big game of hot potato. Nobody wants to be left holding it to carry it into the new year because they don't want to pay taxes on it. But that's why we're trying to spend all this money before the end of the year. And we got a whole lot more stuff coming, but somebody keeps shipping too much stuff and slowing down the delivery companies. Also, can you believe that we've been in this space for almost a year already? It's crazy. <laughs> Time has flown and we are so blessed. I mean, this year has just been full of blessings and so many, le so many lessons. And I can't wait to share all of the new ones we learn with you guys next year. That's